Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry's administration concedes there is uncertainty when it comes to the future of the big electric works project. Last night, an attorney advising the mayor said Mayor Henry has lost confidence in the developer's ability to get the job done. And Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer joins us live right now with more. Jeff? Yeah, Linda, Tom, everybody trying to better understand the fallout from last night's city council meeting where an attorney advising Mayor Henry said on the record that uh, city leaders no longer think RTM Ventures can get the overhaul of this site uh, across the finish line on its own. So last night, city council summoned, among others, RTM Ventures and representatives of Mayor Henry to answer questions about the project, wanting to know what really prompted the City Redevelopment Commission last month to nullify an economic agreement that pulled back tens of millions of dollars in local government support for electric works. Tim Hafner, Corporation Counsel to the Mayor, described aspects of the developer's private financing package on electric works as, quote, a mirage, also saying that there's no path forward working only with the current developer. That didn't satisfy city council members who later in the meeting voted unanimously to introduce a resolution calling for a formal investigation of the economic agreement's termination. Here's RTM Ventures on mixed messages the company believes it's getting from the mayor's office. That they've said we're, we're open to having RTM come back to the table, but then you heard Mr. Hafner say that there's been trust lost and they want a different developer. So there's just complete uh, 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 inconsistent statements that they're making, uh, which has been very challenging for us. At the end of the day, we want to make sure that uh, the site is developed well, that it's sustainable uh, for now and for generations to come. We also have to keep in mind, too, that we're doing everything we can uh, to make sure that do it best, uh, that their needs are met, that they stay here as a large and successful employer. Now, Perlick's talking about the fact Do It Best has committed to putting its world headquarters at Electric Works, and if the project doesn't happen, there's concern that the big home improvement chain might bolt the county. The company did not respond to my calls today, but Perlick admits Do It Best has its heart set on locating an Electric Works, not someplace else here in the county. If there is a formal investigation into the termination of the Electric Works uh, deal, it could take months, of course, to sort out. We could be seeing uh, court hearings that that uh, end up uh, happening as well as uh, some some money spent, some big money spent on attorney's fees. How this will all shake out, how it will all end, we don't know that at this point, Tom, Linda. Yeah, Jeff, this could definitely go to a level legally that, frankly, in the fort we don't see often around here. Uh, definitely something to keep our eye on. Thanks so much for that live report.